Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry and this is Granny's Sewing Room. And today is hashtag Friday Sews. So let's jump right into it. This is where we get together and talk about what we made this week, what we're gonna make next week, and a little bit about life in general. And uh, what I sewed this week was finishing up a few dresses for Dress a Girl Around the World. And that is a challenge that uh, Marty from over at Marty Sews puts on and I will put the description her uh, link in my description below so go check her out today I believe or yesterday she uh, kicked it off and she'll explain all the details about it but if any of my viewers would like to make a dress for dress a girl around the world uh, let me know and I would enjoy uh, knowing what you made and there is a link on Instagram where you could also, I think tag Madi for, she's gonna do a big to do after she counts all the dresses. She's trying to get to a thousand dresses this year. I think not, last year she had 900 dresses. So if that's something you would like to participate in, please let me know or check out the link below and get a hold of Madi and she will tell you all about it. So what else, uh, I've, that's about all the sewing I got done this week. I didn't get anything else done. We've spent the week without air conditioning. Oh, has it been hot. But you know what it does when you finally get it? We got our air last night. And it just makes you more grateful and humble that, holy moly, praise the Lord, you have air. <laughs> so I just don't know how they did it back in the day. But uh, we did it. Everybody offered to give us a window unit or come and check it out but we were waiting for our own guy and I to me it was like a little challenge that uh, we can do this they did it back in the old day we need, we need to quit whining and we can we can deal with this heat and we did it so that too shall pass and it's behind me and I don't remember it anymore all I know is I slept good last night bingo slept with me because it was cool in my room before she couldn't it she had to lay on the hot wood floor because it was kind of cool but she slept with me last night and we had a good sleep uh, I have been working on continuing to learn the affinity and inkscape uh, designer I'm trying to create PDF for my sewing patterns and I just think I got it and then I forget it you know when I go to do it again what button what but I just that short-term memory is just horrible so um, I'm still plug it away and still trying to get it and uh, I will get it I wish there was a class I could just go take and come home and have homework to do and <laughs> I think it would make it much easier but uh, you got to try to remember what you're learning on YouTube and then go to your computer and do it and I then I forgot and I don't know where this button is or that button is and and then turning it into a PDF form to print out the way you want it <laughs> but I will chug along and I will get it so my plans for next week's sewing is I will be making this uh, it's a simplicity 8218 8218 and I'm making version A, and this is for my sister's birthday. She, her birthday's the September 8th. She will be 69, and this is going to be like a little bed jacket. She likes wearing little jackets around the house. And there's the line drawings. So I went and picked out the fabric and uh, I'm running today to go pick out more fabric because I want something made out of it for me. I really like it. It's lightweight, but yet it's fuzzy and knit and you could use both sides of the fabric. And I, I want something. I think I, I just bought a sweater type of thing where half of it's one color anyway so I am gonna I'm gonna run to Joann's and grab pick me up some more of this fabric uh, it isn't cheap $16 with 30% off so I don't know their prices have gone up I mean I cannot believe some of the prices I was looking at and I thought holy moly where am I at but uh, 
Anyway, so I'm going to be making this and working on this next week. Um, that's about all the plans I have. I do have another collab coming up with, uh, let me see, Michelle Sows again. She has a collab up for uh, awareness for Alzheimer's, and it's going to be everything made in purple. So a few of us YouTubers, it would be me, uh, April from Sew April, Chris from Sew Notes, and Michelle are going to be making the bag toward the end of September. And uh, the bag is of our choice, and the color has to have purple in it. So my bag's done, and it's one of my own creations. So I will be revealing that uh, toward the end of September, and I'll let you know more about that. Uh, the next thing is my weight loss journey. I am excited to say I've lost 11 pounds. I got on the scale today and I'm 146. So that, that was exciting. Uh, I've lost 11 pounds, like I said, and my goal is to lose maybe another 10 pounds. I would like to be at 135, 136, somewhere around there. And um, you know, when you lose this weight, then you walk in the kitchen, you see them cookies or them goodies, and you say, no, nope, no. Nope. You know, you have more of a strength to walk away from it. And my coffee journey has been doing good. I'm off that international uh, creamer. And uh, I've, I've cut down on coffee. I've drank two cups a day, maybe three toward the end of the day if there's a little more left in the pot. But uh, two cups and I seem good. I'm really uh, doing my water real well. Uh, I've really stepped up my game this week on drinking water. So, but... Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, there's 11 pounds off of here. Woohoo! So I'm excited about that, and uh, I feel like I can keep going. And I want to thank my coach, Chris from So Notes. She's been coaching me along on my weight loss journey, my bag making journey. Uh, she's a good coach, so I hope I'm just as good as coach, uh, encouraging her along and being her cheerleader. But, uh, so anyway, so that's my Friday sews. Just to tell you that I did a few dresses for Dress a Girl. Uh, I'm going to be making a little night jacket for my sister for her birthday. Uh, my daughter-in-law had her knee surgery in a little pain. She's home, but she's doing remarkably well. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your prayers. I haven't seen my mail lady, so, but uh, let's keep her in her your prayers uh she's dealing with colon cancer so i have her in my prayers uh what else i started my old church back last sunday and it was a blast we had so much fun and my great granddaughter she was kind of sad when we put her in the car for them to leave and she kind of couldn't look at granny and couldn't look at her aunt d and you know her little lip was quivering and I said do you want to spend the day with granny yeah all of a sudden and so her and I had a little date last Sunday uh, she took me to Runza granny ate a salad and she ate uh, popcorn chicken and french fries and here granny taste this this is what you should have got it was just funny I learned about rainbows and the planets and the earth and the stars she just talked talk talk because we haven't seen each other for quite some time so we're going to have to have another date, she said, but this one's going to be spending the night. And I'm thinking, oh, I can't sleep when you're in bed with me. And <laughs> She's all over the place. But uh, then her and I went to build a bear and got her a bear. And uh, she liked this one. And they, they drew me in. They drug me in. They had a bear. You could buy one for $32 or two for $45. You know, that's a no-brainer there. So... We kind of call Granny ridiculous, but <laughs> so she got two bears, and I'm going to insert a little video of her getting her bears right here.
Where do you want it? Put your heart in that one. <laughs> she plays video games too. Squeeze it. Squeeze it again. See what else he says. Say thank you. What are their names? Woohoo! Let's see, what else did I do? I hope you guys enjoyed my video that I put up in me making my barrel bag, my Tabitha barrel bag. I'm trying to get that in a pattern form too, but the one I'm working on right now is trying to get this one into a pattern. This was my first one, this was my Ariana bag, and I am trying to get that in a pattern form and ready for sale and uh, that would be my first one so I got a lot of irons in the fire and t sometimes I just don't think I have enough time to do all that I want to do but uh, I'm going to chug away and keep working at these patterns and try to learn how to put these in a PDF form so you can print them out and tape them together and that this isn't easy especially when you have the short-term memory loss because <laughs> you never remember nothing 
But anyway, this is my Friday sews. I'm getting ready to run to Joann's and Hobby Lobby and see what I don't need to buy and buy something. I want some fabric. And Hi everyone, I thought I would just do a little insert. I ran to Hobby Lobby and got a little fabric haul to show you. And then I also ran, since it was on the way home, the vinyl store and grabbed me some glitter vinyls. So I can get stocked up on my vinyls because I am also making uh, SVG files designs. So I grabbed me some glitter vinyls so I go put them away. But what I got at Hobby Lobby is I thought this was so pretty. And it is a knit, a real soft knit. So I really like that. I got me, I think, four yards of this. And then Hobby Lobby also has vinyl on rolls, and they were 50% off. And look at those. I really liked those accent pieces on a bag. So got some of that. And then each year I try to make my grandkids pillowcases for the holidays. So they had their Christmas fabric, 50% off. So I grabbed the bolt of this fabric and it's a flannel, so it's nice and soft. And I grabbed some accent pieces to go on top, you know, the trim on top of it. I bought some black and white check and some red and white check. So I will be making pillowcases, probably 10, 12 pillowcases real soon. So this is just a little insert. Wanted to show you my haul since my Friday Sews video wasn't real interesting. <laughs> so, okay, back to the video. I have this fabric and I thought this would make a cute swimming suit and it's nice and stretchy. But the problem is, you know, if I'm losing weight, I'm scared that I'm going to make something too big and then it's not going to fit. And then I wasted my time and my fabric. And so I'm kind of holding off on this. I have this fabric and then I just not bought this not too long ago. And these are panels. But uh, I like that too. So I want to I want to make a swimsuit, but I don't want to make it too soon. I'd like to maybe get five more pounds off me before I make that swimsuit and uh, and make it then. So that's on my radar to do. Uh, what else on my radar is we're having a collab with our viewers. My viewer would be Carmen, where we're making a grandbaby a sweatshirt, and I don't have that fabric here. Hang on, I'll get it. Where we're making a sweatshirt for our grandchildren, and this is the fabric she chose. So I will be doing some color blocking on that. So that's on my radar to make. Uh, and that's probably going to be next up on my list after I make the jacket. Because my bag's done. My dresses for Dresser Girls done. And uh, so there you go. That's, that's my September plans. Trying to get a little something made for me. A couple little things made for other people. And a few collabs. So... But anyway, has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first because you are in God's eyes and you're in mine. So thank you so much for joining me. And if you haven't already, would you hit that subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up? That certainly does help my channel. And uh, hit that bell if you want to be notified of my upcoming videos. And uh, if you would like to have me film me making a sweatshirt or my jet ja this jacket, let me know if you'd like to see me doing some sewing because some people really like that. And then some people, you know, the bag video was an hour long and I thought, oh, brother, no one's going to watch that. But a few people watched it and I got a couple comments. So thank you to all that stuck it out and watched me make that bag. And now that was my first attempt at making that bag and I have to give myself a pat on the back because I, I didn't have a whole lot of mistakes. Uh, just the excitement of getting it done and forgetting steps that should have been done beforehand. Uh, but otherwise it, it turned out good. Uh, I was real pleased with it. So it came from here to here 
and then to paper and then to machine and it, it turned out really nice so I was real pleased with that but I will let you guys go you guys go out and have a wonderful weekend go do something creative but whatever you do do it in the name of the Lord and your blessings will always come back to you so I will talk to you real soon and go check out the other hashtag Friday Sewist and you won't be disappointed there's going to be someone there that you'll enjoy so I'll talk to you real soon. Bye, everyone. I think one other thing that I'm going to be doing is uh, making a swimsuit before the end of this year. And uh, let me show you the fabric I have right on hand.